name is Key, and uh, today I'm going to demo the Engineink app, uh, which is uh, basically the, uh, the app that you can connect your iPhone to your uh, car and uh, get all the sensor information displayed on your phone. Okay, so uh, this app requires the Wi-Fi adapter, OBD Wi-Fi adapter, to plug into the vehicle. Uh, actually, you can also use the Bluetooth adapter, but I will show you later. There, uh, there is some workaround that you have to, uh, I mean, uh, deal with uh, in order to make the Bluetooth adapter work for your vehicle. Okay, so uh, first, I uh, let me plug this into my car. I think it's plugged in. Uh, hold on. Uh, let me start my car. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I think it's plugged in. Let me make sure. Okay. So now let me go to the why the the setting on my iPhone. So in order to connect to the adapter, uh, it's already plugged in uh, to the car. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you see here is a COK device. It actually, it's connected right now. Uh, that's basically my adapter. Uh, but if you are connect the, the con uh, if you are connecting to the adapter the first time, uh, you want to make sure you set it up as a static uh, connection, and uh, you have some IP for your iPhone and uh, uh, a subnet mask set it up. Okay. Uh, those should be able to, uh, you can find those information from your adapter menu actually. So let me start my Engineink app. So, okay, here is the uh, starting interface. Uh, you can see actually uh, the first page is some um, instruction tell you uh, what kind of connector, uh, what kind of adapter is required and uh, how you set up the connection. So move to the next page. There is a connection page, so you have the adapter IP address is 192.168.0.10 and there is a port number uh, 350.00. Uh, you can find those information actually from your uh, adapter menu. Okay, I'm going to click connect. Okay, you can see suddenly the, the, the red indication light turns green, so that means the uh, connection is established. So let me move to the following page. So I call this one is a uh, uh, performance widget. Uh, the the dash widget basically it's very similar to the dashboard on your on your car. Uh, the next page I call it uh, performance widget. It gives you the uh, some performance information like acceleration, the power and torque of the engine, and uh, the boost of va vacuum. So those are uh, more related to the performance of your uh, current uh, vehicle status. Okay. Then uh, this page is a MPG page. is basically the fuel efficiency. It tells you the long-term average uh, MPG fuel efficiency, and also there is a curve that when you drive, it tells you the uh, the current uh, MPG on that uh, at that short moment. Uh, right now, it's uh, you can see there is a little bit of green curve. It's moving on the zero because the vehicle is not moving, so uh, that's why you see the MPG zero uh, right now. And also, the, this is uh, basically the instantaneous number for the curve. Uh, then the following page is a diagnostic page. You can read the trouble codes for your car, and uh, you can also clean the trouble codes. Uh, so basically, if the uh, if the the light on your uh, on the dashboard turns on. There is a, I mean, usually the check engine light something turns on. Uh, you can read the trouble codes and it will display uh, what was the problem and uh, also you can clean it. So let me try to click that read trouble codes so you can see right now there is zero uh, trouble code. So uh, let me go to the next page. So uh, this page is most one of the most exciting page actually uh, they have three the same page uh, they are blank uh, you can configure whatever uh, what kind of gauge you want to 
put in there and uh, what kind of PID information you want to display. So in order to configure it, you first long, uh, press the screen, uh, then it pop up a uh, menu that uh, asks you what kind of gauge you want to put there. So there is a small dial, big dial, small bar, big bar, small plot and the big plot. Let me go over it one by one. So let me put a big dial and then it pop up the custom PID page. Okay. So you can see it already starts to scan uh, those PID. Uh, if the icon turns to green, that means your vehicle has already sent back the information for that specific PID. If it's still gray, that means uh, your vehicle does not provide that uh, information. Uh, and also you can edit the customer PID. Uh, you can see here is a uh, add button. So there is a pop-up dialog to uh, guide you through how to input specific PID. Actually, uh, I will show you there is a wiki page give you some more information. Okay, I work. I just cancel it. And also, you can delete whatever PID you don't uh, you don't want to keep there. Okay, uh, I press down, so I don't want to edit anymore. Uh, like I said, there is a uh, help button. So. Uh, by the way, you can see all those values for the PIDs already start to refresh in like the engine node, uh, like the short term fuel percentage showing bank one, so you can see those number keep uh, changing. So let me press the help, just tells you uh, the more of the information I, I said at the very beginning. So it basically uh, goes to the wiki page for the engineering. Uh, I'm not sure if it's clear so basically if you look the, the there is a the first one is tells you how use a, how to use the bluetooth uh, adapter uh, for the engineering app and also uh, then how to input the customer PID inside the app and also there is a, a section that tells you how to edit the customer custom PID in the Excel so basically you can use a uh, you can use the uh, iTunes file share to copy out the PID custom PID definition file, and also you can copy in uh, the custom PID file. Uh, actually, I'm putting the uh, prior specific PID list uh, in the page in the page as well. Okay, uh, so let me go back to the engineering. App. Okay, let me go back there. So let me continue to add the customer uh, PID uh, into the uh, into the page. So let me say I want to the calculate engine node value. So I click this. Now you have this dial, the big dial. Uh, it's, it's kind of start to refreshing. You can see there is a uh, uh, what what is the percentage of the current engine node. Now let me add another control, uh, another. Uh, uh, gauge display. Okay, I long press it, and uh, now I want to add a small bar. Okay, again, okay. I want to pick some some value that the car actually has. So let's say, okay, the engine RPM. Okay, you can see this number here. I choose this one. Now it start to refresh. Uh, and the bar actually, because the engine RPM right now, the it's it's so the number is not big enough, so you didn't uh, see the bar actually it's zero. So let me remove it actually. So I now click that uh, gauge, I delete it. Uh, then I do it again. I choose a small bar. Then I choose some other value actually. Uh, okay, I choose the throttle position this time. Okay, you can now you can see the bar actually with uh, the green indication, which is close to 13 percent basically. I can also move this uh, this gauge in order to put somewhere I, I would like to have it. Okay, okay. Then let me try another uh, different gauge. So now press again. This time I want a small plot. Okay. Uh, so let me say I want the runtime since engine starts. I press it. 
Okay, now you have this number being displayed here, and also there is a red indicator. Basically, this is a current value, and the 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 green line is moving. So you basically get a plot uh, for that specific uh, uh, gauge. Okay, so you, like I said, you have three page uh, for that. So let me add something more. Uh, let me add uh, uh, let's say big plot. Okay. Uh, let me pick something. So I want the. Uh, okay. So let's say I want the uh, accelerator, accelerator uh, pedal position. Position D. Now you have the. Okay, the number is 19.61%, and you have this recorder, this small recorder, start to uh, draw the curve. Okay, uh, basically that that the the function uh, this engine app has right now. Uh, I'm going to put some of the previous specific uh, PID file. Uh, on the wiki website so you can download it and put in the app that uh, works for your uh, Prius uh, and also you can create your own uh, if you have like hybrid uh, Civic for example of hybrid uh, uh, Nexus so you can you can still find uh, the PID information uh, on the online forms and uh, create a, your own file Okay, thank you very much for watching the demo. Uh, have a good day. Bye.